Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back. My name is Madeline Donna and today I did an emerald green eye. If you like this look, I just used a $5 product, the e.l.f. Metallic Liquid Eyeshadow in Aurora. So if you want to see how I achieved this look, stay tuned. Hey guys! So who is ready to try on an emerald green eye? I am so excited. Today I'm trying out the e.l.f. Liquid Metallic in the shade Aurora, which is this really beautiful green. And yeah, I'm just so excited for the metallic eye. I'm excited today. We are gonna do a cut crease, so stay tuned for that. So yeah, let's just jump right into it. So as per usual, I'm using my Alme Truly Lasting Color in the shade Naked right here. Next, I am going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade in the shade Vanilla. I have super fair skin though, so for me this is the um, a good concealer. I'm gonna put it below my eye. And if you want to have a lifted look, because the idea with makeup is you want everything not to be flat and horizontal, you want it to be like lifted this way. Concealer is a great way to do that. And if you take it right here and you go up like that, it is going to make your face go up and it like up and together. So it's a good time. nobody told me that King Princess came out with a new album. It is insane. Her song, Ohio, is hands down one of my favorite from her um, new album and I'm like seriously obsessed with it, so definitely go check her out. I haven't listened to her old stuff. It's just amazing. But yeah, also, so now I'm using, I'm doing a cream contour and I'm using for my dark shade, using the Maybelline Fit Me in Coffee. So that's what this guy looks like. I'm gonna move my hair a little bit. I got really inspired by Ariana Grande for this part, this part situation. Um, so I'm honestly only gonna go up here. Ooh, I don't want it to get in my hair. So normally, normally I would do the other corner of my head, but because my hair is covering it, I'm not gonna do it. Because you don't want it to be like, you would never conceal this part, make this part really dark. I'm going to take this large brush and blend out all of this. And I'm just kind of patting a little, like, I'm stroking back into my hairline, honestly, more than anything. You don't want the dark color to move down because otherwise you won't get this nice angle. So I'm going to do it on the other side too. Oh. I'm gonna go really slowly. I don't want to mess up my hair. Also, if you want to do a similar hairstyle, um, all I did was to get it to be smooth like this. And granted, I do have really naturally like more fine hair. It's not it's not super coarse. Um, all I did was it's kind of intense. Okay. But yeah, all I did was I just used a little bit of my argan oil. I have this product, it's the Moroccan argan oil, and it will make your hair greasy if you use too much. So definitely use it sparingly. This is also really nice to put on your roots at night. It helps hair growth, it's really good for your hair, and it puts back like the oils that your hair lacks after you shampoo it. Okay, so for my blush, I am actually still using the Morphe by James Charles palette. And I use this shade right here for my blush. And I just take my brush and I just use it right here. So that's my foundation. So now eyebrows first. So I have my brow pomade and I actually attempted, so it was really dry, right? Which happens to a lot of brow pomades and I tried putting eye drops in it. So I'm curious to see if that was effective. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go in with an angled brush. Let's see. Oh, okay. That was totally helpful. Okay, that was super easy. Very happy with that. So I guess if you need to fix your brow pomade, you just add in some eye drops. I just went to Walgreens and just bought the cheapest ones I could find. So if I mess up at all with my eyebrows, all I do is I just take a little bit of my concealer, I put a little bit on the back of my hand, I take this really small flat brush and I will just adjust it as needed. So right here, not a good line, no worries. So I like the other one, they're sisters, they're not twins, that's okay. I don't think it's a huge deal because you will spend hours and hours trying to correct them and at some point you just have to be like, these are my eyebrows and that's okay. Our faces are not naturally super symmetrical, so if they're a little bit off, don't even worry about it. Just keep going. So now for the eye look, I'm very excited. I'm going to prime my eyelid again with my concealer. I actually probably didn't need that much, but I did it anyways. So, no biggie. I'm gonna take a brush and just blend it out. So I actually used colors from this contour palette I got from Sephora a long time ago and it was free, um, but they're nice browns like those. I'm gonna use the center one and then go out and use this one after. And so I'm just gonna go in. And I think it's okay to kind of go near your eyebrows. I think it makes it more fluid. Go below, go. Normally I use these browns for my everyday makeup if I'm doing a really simple eye. Now that I have a tan base, I'm gonna cut my crease and I'm gonna put concealer on the back of my hand. So see, just like that. I'm gonna take my concealer brush and all you're doing is taking it and just outlining where you want the new color to be. That's what they mean. And I'm just gonna dab it with my finger. So that's all it is. When people do cut creases, it's just concealer. Easy peasy. Oh, if you have hooded eyes like me, if you're doing a cut crease, you kind of have to decide where you want your cut crease to go. You don't have to follow where your eyelid line actually is, and I usually don't, because um, I'm trying to open up my eye space. So I'll start there and then I'll go above it. Really, if you kind of follow the natural shape of like your eyeball, since you can feel it, that is what I would do. I'm really excited. So let me get this out of the beautiful packaging. I love, like, look at how pretty that is. Let's see if I, let's see if I can actually get it out though. <gasps> look at how small, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, okay. Such a glam night, nice, ready to go out when COVID is over and safe and we're vaccinated. Okay, the cutest little applicator. So I'm just gonna go in and just do that and then probably take a brush here soon. Whoa. Take this brush and I'm gonna go in and just dab it out. And I'm gonna layer so it's more vibrant. It's so pretty though. And I've seen people do this over like really dark eyes. So I thought it would be super fun to do it with more of like a neutral brown. Okay, so now I'm layering. How 
pretty. How fun is that? This doesn't even feel like evening. I will say, I can already tell though, um, I am applying quite a few layers. So, I mean, it is pretty cheap though. Maybe that's part of the deal, right? Okay, so I do like that. I'm gonna take a dark brown now. So I have this red brown and the James Charles palette. I'm gonna take this to outline it because I think it just needs to be cleaned up a bit on the edges. So I'm gonna take this brush, which is just kind of, it's more firm for sure. And I'm gonna go ahead and with that color, I'm just gonna do a little. See if you can't clean this up and make it a little smoky. Actually gonna go in now I think it needs a bit of a pick-me-up by the eyebrows, so I'm gonna go in with this peachy, glittery color right here. Okay, so I'm really happy with this eye. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other, and I'm gonna come back. Sisters, they're not twins, and that's okay. So, I'm actually super happy with this. I love bright, fun eyeshadow. So I'm gonna go in with my mascara. And I use Great Lash Waterproof because I discovered I have actually pretty sensitive eyes to mascara when I was young. Um, so that's why I use waterproof. If you have similar issues, try waterproof mascara because it won't flake into your eye essentially. So it's way less irritable if you have problems with that. Okay, so I ran to Target and I picked up this Superstay Ink Crayon, see? And it's in the color Trust Your Gut. Shouldn't we all trust our guts? Guts never lie, I'm just saying. So it looks like this, it's a crayon. I'm gonna try it for lining my lips and then to fill them in, I bought this new shade in Maybelline, which Maybelline is one of my hands down favorite companies for affordable makeup where you can buy at Walgreens, Target. This isn't sponsored. I'm just telling you guys what I've tried and what I love. Maybelline is great though. Maybelline is really good quality makeup for the price especially. So, first I'm gonna line my lips. Okay, that also smells amazing. This smells like candy. It smells really sweet or something. So now I'm gonna go in with the lipstick. I'm so excited. Okay, so this is the shade I have been looking for. I'm not joking, I am not being crazy. Look at this beautiful shade compared to my skin tone, which is super fair. This is just like, oh my God. It's called, it's Naked. It's Naked, 144 at Target. It's amazing. I am so happy with that duo. Oh, okay. I feel it, I feel it. Guys, so today I opted out of using my favorite eyelashes. I decided just that mascara was enough. I'm very happy with it. I love the look and it takes a few coats to put on, but I'm happy with this e.l.f. metallic liquid eyeshadow in the shade Aurora. So if you guys are looking for something like this, Target has it for $5. So you can't really beat that. So I'm gonna go do like a little photo shoot so I can show you guys what, what this is. And yeah, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please comment, like, and subscribe for more. I think so. I hope you guys liked it. Um, yeah, and I will catch up with you guys later. I will, I promise. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time at Madeline Donna. Okay, bye.